Hello beautiful people of YouTube land. I am Elite, of course from Elite the Phoenix, and thank you for tuning in today today's video. If you are new here, welcome. The water is nice and it's nice and personal today. So if you are returning, thank you so much for continuing to support me and please subscribe down below if uh, you haven't yet. So this video is very personal. I I think I'm gonna make a section on my channel called hi my name is elite and that's just where there will be videos that directly pertain to my own personal experiences and this is one of those videos um, I definitely can say in high school I went to private school um, and it, we had uniforms so you never compared like clothing and stuff so we all wore the same thing I think the easiest thing to compare yourself um, with is like body size and just the way media was and being in a school where there weren't that many black um, children so I could see how you know and a, a typical black body would look I didn't have those examples represented where I was so when I had my growth spurt and even before then I had always just tended to have um, anorexic like tendencies like I just wouldn't eat I would um, I could go a long period of time and it wasn't good it wasn't healthy I think I was also just stressed with things going on in my life and so now as an adult I can say I looked to that because that was an easy thing I could control I could control what I consumed especially if I felt like I couldn't control anything else around me so um yeah I wrote a piece um, in reflection of that period of my life um, I write um, music, lyrics, you know, poems, spoken word, whatever you want to call it, because I'm just going to say it really. But um, I don't have it memorized, so I'm going to be looking over at it. Um, but I really hope you enjoy it and just see that you're not alone and that there is help. I was thankful to have my family, but there are resources. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into this. And thank you for supporting me. Don't eat, don't eat, don't eat, don't eat. The stream of words, better yet a command, played through my mind all day on repeat. I had a knack for counting calories, bites, swallows and the like. And I would always try to beat my amount from the day before with such determination as if everyone around me was keeping score. Better yet, if I ate with others and could resist, I just knew I would survive this imaginary game of survival of the fittest. Sad part is, I wasn't fit, physically or otherwise. No matter how many times I looked in the mirror, I always told myself I could go down a size. But God had another plan. He made sure that if I was determined to not eat, that I would be fed by another's hand. And not literally, but my mother and friends certainly looked out for me. Threats of being force fed and nights at the dinner table for hours. My best friend in high school always being there to eat with me during our lunch hour. And while I still have to check myself every now and then when I'm feeling overwhelmed and I feel like things are caving in and I seek to counting as a means of control, I'm always reminded when I go to sleep and wake up by no means of my own that I am a temple carefully built and, to, and sustained. And to not take care of this gift I would, was given would be a shame. So to those who are still struggling and going through a tumultuous season, remember that it's just that and with honesty, praying, reaching out for help when you need it, this too shall certainly pass. You are not alone. You are capable of change and being better. You are uniquely and genuinely created. There are resources. You can get help. and. From one phoenix to another, you're going to get through this. Please let me know down below um, what you think and just thank you so much for watching. <laughs> 